Wolf of Charles Street Podcast, man. We back with another episode, man. Episode 27, man. 27. Started this podcast, I want to say, last year, the year before that. I know I had, I had, I had got sick. So I was in the crib quarantining and it was like, even though I'm sick, man, I, I know I can still, you know, get some work done. So that's when I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and start this podcast. And you know, I've been sticking to it. And it's just, like I said, man, it's just me sharing my journey, sharing my knowledge in the business. And just, you know, knowledge of being a businessman, being a business. Cause you know, as growing up, you're not really, you not really made aware of those things, you know, like growing up, especially, you know, from our communities, you know, mom provide or whoever, you know, grandma, whoever, I mean, they provide. So, you know, you just ask for certain things and you get it. If you don't get it, oh, well, you feel me? But it's like, it's very rarely you are shown how to go get it and not just go get it, but to to thrive you know to like really really make money i feel like you know like you know you can't blame you can't really blame your parents or blame anybody for you especially if they not at that level they can't really share knowledge with you that they haven't even acquired you know so the knowledge i want to share today is just to you know, especially for people that just starting businesses or getting into business, like the knowledge I want to share with y'all today is about gatekeepers, gatekeeping, you feel me? Like, it's really a thing, you feel me? Usually somebody that has a certain position or has a certain knowledge of things, you know, they, they gatekeep. So they really put themselves in a position where they could really help or hurt you, you know? Now, with the elites, you know, that 1% of the most wealthiest people, you know, they are they are surrounded, you know, their power and everything is was built and, you know, is surrounded by these gatekeepers. So, you know, it's kind of hard to just to penetrate and infiltrate that because of these gatekeepers that, you know, they utilize. Now... For you to even get to that level, you got to have a lot of influence, a lot of power, a lot of following, you feel me? You got to have, you really got to have, you know, that power where you can compete, you know, you can make things happen, you can make things change. It just makes me think about like Martin Luther King, you know, like he had that following, he had that that influence, even to this day, you know. But what he went wrong was when he really started competing, you know. He wanted to boycott this, you know, and he was he was messing up economies for the elite, you know? So, you know, he started competing. So like, to even get to the point of being in the same room, being in the same conversation with these elites, you gotta be, you know, you gotta have that influence, you gotta have that following, you know? But, um, we gonna take it down to a local level, cause you know, I ain't, I ain't gonna call myself local. I, I'll never do that, you know. But I do do a lot of business locally here, you feel me, in Baltimore. But, you know, I be, I be everywhere, you feel me. I be in them big offices, you feel me. I be really, I be really moving around. But locally, the people that's doing this gatekeeping here, like in the city, Y'all got to stop it, man. Y'all got to stop it because it's levels It's levels to everything, man. 
and I'm looking at the level that y'all local gatekeepers at, like, y'all ain't making no money. Y'all ain't, you feel me? Y'all ain't really, y'all ain't being privileged to nothing. Like, you gatekeeping some stuff that it don't really take me too much to get around. You feel me? Get the information and get into. And I'm just saying this because this is what I experienced in my journey, you know, doing business here in Baltimore City. Like, you got these gatekeepers, man. These phony gatekeepers. And, you know, like, when it comes to business and all that, I'm very aggressive. You feel me? I treat it like a sport. I treat it like war. And it's like, I peep what I'm going up against when it comes to these fake gatekeepers. And as soon as I pry a little bit of pressure, it's like, you know, that gate busts wide open, it crumbles or whatever. You feel me? So it's like, I'm looking at these fake gatekeepers and the stuff that they doing here and they, and, and they just making it harder because together we could go way further, way further. So it's really our own people that's keeping us, you know, suppressed. Because the people that I'm getting the backlash from or the or, or the, the blockage from is people that look like me, man. People of my color, you feel me? Like older people, and it be older people, you know, like the older people, I guess, you feel me? I guess, you know, they're comfortable in their position and they don't want, they don't want to give it up or what. I don't know what it is, you feel me? But I just know that the, these fake gatekeepers, man, y'all not, Y'all not benefiting off of, off of what y'all think y'all benefiting of. I don't know what y'all got going on in y'all mental. I don't know what time y'all mind stuck in. This 2023, man, the dollar from 1958, the same dollar. You feel me? It's different. It's a different motion. It's a different time, man. And it's time for y'all to move out the way. I don't want to drop no names or nothing like that. Because like I said, I, I'm in business, you know? I'm in business. So you know, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta move for my business. I can't really, I mean, just be speaking just for me personally. But as far as business wise, like it's a lot of these fake gatekeepers out here. But I'm gonna just show y'all how to, um, I'm gonna get y'all the sauce of how to just you know get around them. It's knowledge, man. It's research. It's asking questions. Your family is digging. Is 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 really. Finding out what's going on in the field that you, you know, you trying, yeah, man. Do your business and figure out what's going on. And you figure out that the, these, uh, you know how people, oh, you got to pay for that. Oh, you got to do this. You got to go ahead. You find out you ain't got to do none of that. You feel me? You ain't got to do none of that. But it come from, you know, asking questions and digging, you know, and really, you know investigating but as far as you 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 fake gatekeepers man i'm telling y'all man i'm knocking down all the gates i'm knocking down all the walls i'm knocking down everything man y'all need to just get out the way bro just get out the way like the generation acting me they even more aggressive so just like Y'all got to really think about it, man. You got to think about maybe I should just embrace these free thinkers. You feel me? I should, you know, help elevate these free thinkers instead of trying to block us and, you know, gatekeep. Yeah, man, it's a lot of clown stuff going on when it comes to, you know, society, man. The power structure in society is real goofy and it don't have to be like that. But it's designed like this because, like I said, that 1%, they're in the middle. They're protected by a circle, protected by another circle, then protected by another circle. Like all these fraternities and stuff, when you go to college and these universities, that's all a part of you protecting. And man, it's real deep. 
But when you come to a lower level and, 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 and the basic level and the city level, the this, this level, the street level, nah, man. Nah, you got you you school yourself. You get that knowledge what you need to know about what you're doing, and you just, I you mean, you proceed, man. Or get these old heads another ten years, and they be out of here, man. All these all these viruses and disease going around. Get these old heads ten ten years, they out of here. You feel me? But nah, I just don't like it. You feel me? I rather. Network, I'd rather connect, I'd rather help build, I'd rather, you know, lend my hand, my expertise for the bigger goal. But that bigger goal, man, that bigger goal, you're gonna have to, like, it just ain't, it just ain't what it is, man. It ain't what it is. And it's like I'm just telling y'all, just so y'all don't be all hurt and all that when y'all realize what's going on out here. Like, it just ain't what it is, man. It ain't what it is. Like, especially when you self-made, it's like somebody wants to be able to take credit for you doing you. Somebody want to be able to say, like, yeah, I put him on. I did this, I did that. So when you self-made, man, you really... You feel me? You really, I mean, you competing. You self-made. You built your own audience. You built your own following. Your influence is just out of here. You feel me? You're competing for for attentions, for minds, and for hearts. And you feel me that, you know, the people that, that empower, they don't, you know, they don't really want that, no competition and all that. So now, once you get to the point where you're making that type of noise... That's when you get them to them calls. That's when you get invited to the meetings. You feel me? Then you realize, okay, what's going on? Then you have a make. Then you have the decision to make: either get down or lay down. You feel me? Like that's the only decision you gotta make, man. And that's just what it really is. You feel me? Like business, it's. It's really about creating a need, you know? So it's like, sometimes it really ain't no need for certain things, but if they could trick you into believing, like, yeah, this is a need, you feel me? Like, it's just the world, man. The thing that's going on, I was watching this one clip with Jack Nicholson, man. I forgot, this was, man, this was years ago. Jack Nicholson was driving a car, man, that was running off water, bro. You feel me? I think it was an Oldsmobile or something. And you just think about back then, like, you could literally have done away with a lot of the stuff that's going on now by just adopting that back then, you know, like. So when y'all get a chance, matter of fact, I'm going to put it up on the screen. I'm going to find it and put it up on the screen, matter of fact. Day Tonight on day. Marketplace, Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson, what's he doing on our show? Well, he's been dying to get on Marketplace. He phones up every week, and tonight, believe it or not, he's selling a potential pollution-free fuel for our cars. Wouldn't it be great if someone came up with a cheaper fuel of limitless supply? Well, in California, some businessmen claim they have. Let's hear their story. One of the people with money in it is pretty well known to most of us. It's Jack Nicholson, all right. And the car he's driving is unique. It's a standard Chev with a standard engine, but what makes it unique is there's no gasoline in the car. It's running on hydrogen, and the hydrogen was produced by solar power. And this is the first demonstration. Just like a standard Chevy, and I backed it up because, you know, <laughs> the last time the automotive industry tried to destroy a, an independent industrial, as they said, a Tucker wouldn't back up. Remember that? Yeah. It's going to be harder to put this car down. This hydrogen-powered vehicle did back up and it went forward. And this was last week in California. And the news cameramen were more intent on the car than they were on Mr. Nicholson. An engineer explained how it worked. The gasoline facilities out of this car. They are not there anymore. This line goes into a carburetor. Now, this carburetor is very similar 
to the one that is in your car now, except that it's been altered to handle uh, hydrogen gas rather than uh, uh, a mist of gasoline. Uh, if nothing else, of course, this will revolutionize suicide. Instead of carbon monoxide poisoning, you'll just get a steam bath. <laughs> Water. This uh, change in process right here that you see coming up would take 58% of the air pollution out of every city in the world. Uh, I would say that a shift in, in the oil uh, economy might change some of the politics of the world at this moment. Jack Nicholson driving the car, man, that joint. I think it's just straight off of hydrogen type. Hey, solar power, you feel me? So now, imagine if the car companies would have went straight with that, you know? You know, this, 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 these gas prices, oil, all these things, you know, that, that these wars and all these things are over, could have been avoided, you know? But this is the, this is the information and the knowledge that the elites have, they tuck, they reveal it when they want to reveal it, you know? They let it go, if they ever let it go, you know, like, so it's just really realizing everything ain't what it is, man. You got to really get out here and do your due diligence. I'm talking about you got to research. You got to really dig deep. And you're going to find what you want to find. It's out there. It's, 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 sometimes it'll be right in front of you, you know. But as far as these gatekeepers, man, listen, man, y'all low level. Especially y'all low-level gatekeepers, y'all low-level, man. Get out of the way, man. I'm telling you, man. It's not really hard for me to crush y'all. It's just that I got to... Yeah, man, it's like... Sometimes it don't even be worth it. But it's, certain, it's, a, it's a certain amount of y'all that, you know, I make it my... I make it my little, my little hobby, my little personal pastime. And I'm going to terrorize you, you feel me? I'm a yeah. You want to play games? I play games too, you feel me? I got all day, you feel me? Young, healthy, strapping, you feel me? I could go, you feel me? So it's like, sometimes you got to pick your battles wisely, man. You know? You got to know who to compete with and who not to compete with. You know who, know who to embrace. Know who who is, you know, who you can benefit from. But, you know, it's just it's just a lot of that going on, you know? And I'm just putting it out there, you feel me? I'm putting it out there. If you don't like it, you don't like it. So what? Do something about it. And y'all can't do nothing about it because y'all really don't hold no power for real. Y'all low level. Get out the way. Get out the way. You know, just just go ahead. Slide out the way because you're going to get knocked out the way. You're going to get pushed out the way because you got people like me and then other people that's aggressive like me. And they not going to play that. You feel me? They not going to play that, man. Your days are numbered. But, um, like, this podcasting space that I'm in, just media period, you know, like, this is where it's at as far as the worth, as far as currency, like, I got content from years and years ago. It's like, you know, I'm a bona fide journalist. You know, I catch a history. I got people's stories. You feel me? It's like the game I'm in, man, is, is really sky's the limit, the business that I'm in. So we got, you know, I got a lot coming, you know. Like I said, I just started in this city, in my city. When I start touching other cities, you know, setting up this, setting up the same, the same structure that I set up here, go to the next city, set that up, go to the next city, set that up, go to the next country, set that up, the next continent and set that up. You know, like, I'm in this for the long haul, man. A lot of y'all just, you know, y'all want to do some things and look for a quick buck and all that, but. You got to build something with longevity, you know, you got to, you got to think about legacy. You got to think about generations. 
you really got you got to really put yourself in that mental mind state of I'm not just living for tomorrow, you know, or what I'm going to do tomorrow. You got to create tomorrow. You got to invest in tomorrow. You got to believe that your tomorrow is whatever you want your tomorrow to be. So if you tired of being in the slums, you tired of being in the ghetto, you tired of being around this this crummy living, low life living and all that, like you got to work to get up out of there. And it's, it got, it's got to be an everyday thing, you know, you got to be persistent. So, um, of course, there's going to be people that are going to try to block you. There's going to be them gatekeepers and everything. But I'm just letting y'all know, man. The way to get around that, man, build your community, bro. Partner with your community. Once you get that community, that following, that influence, then you win there. Then you could go talk business. Then you could go really make that decision that they got for you, you feel me? Get down or lay down, you know? It is what it is, man. But this is what's really going on out here, man. It's a lot of things that's really free of charge that people are making y'all pay for. <laughs> Gatekeeping, you feel me? So let's, I yeah mean, let's 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 do this for the rest of the year. Try to work with somebody, man. Work with somebody. Not now, now, now. Do your research on them first. You feel me? Do your research on them. Maybe they got a little business. Maybe they got a YouTube channel. You know, do your research on them. And sh you feel me? Do your research on them. And then, you know, really think how they could fit into your plan or your agenda or how, you know, maybe y'all, y'all two agendas has a middle ground. Like, do that, man. You got a friend with a business or something like that. Find a way how you could be more actively a part of that. And they, you know, and likewise, you know, it's all about. It's all about that exchange, you know, that even exchange. Like, it's too much people taking, 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 you feel me? Like, so for the rest of the year, just, just try that, man. Pick somebody that you could build with, partner with. You know, y'all sit and y'all come up with something, you know. And y'all make sure you do your research, man. Make sure you do your due diligence. It's going to save you a lot of heartache, headache, and all that, you know. But yeah, man, it's the Wolf of Charles Street Podcast. Hey, sky's the limit, man. Sky's the limit for me. Sky's the limit for you. I want y'all to believe in you. Believe in what your imagination is telling you. Because... Can't nobody, can't nobody teach you imagination. Can't nobody just give you imagination. Like that comes from within. So it's 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 a hundred percent unique. You feel me? So just use your imagination, man. Come up with something. Put it together. Partner. Build. And I'm telling you, you're gonna go far, man. You're gonna go far. I'll try to build with. Local programs I was trying to build, you know. People don't be what I they don't be on what I be on, you know. I try to build with these these local programs. Cause like I told you, I'm not local. I'm not local. I just chose to make this my 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 you know my testing ground, my my proving ground. Like I'm a build here. Build this, and then I'm, you know, I'm gone. You feel me? I'm not local. I could definitely be somewhere else doing this. You feel me? But you know, I decided to help, help out the local nonprofits, help out these local programs and these local businesses with my expertise. You feel me? But it's a lot of jealousies, a lot of, a lot of goofy stuff going on. So, you know, 
Baltimore, you on the clock, baby. The Roly says you on the clock, baby. Y'all want to stay local jokers, stay local jokers, man. You ladies, y'all want to stay local, still dating the same local people y'all going to play out. Y'all all on the clock. All going to play out, man. I'm telling you, man. Don't be local. Don't stay local. Build, 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 then move on. Come on, y'all got... Do y'all do it? Do y'all pay attention to history? These countries that are in power, how you think they got in power? They built, 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 and moved on, and then they, then they taking over your town, they taking over that. You feel me? Like you gotta build and move on, man. Don't stay local, man. I'm telling you, man. But listen, man, it's another episode of the Wolf of Charles Street podcast, man. Just make sure y'all tap in, man. Check out all the podcasts on the network, man. Be More Best Riders podcast. I love that podcast. You feel me? All the riders tap in. You feel me? Sponsors, um, investors. Make sure y'all tap in, man. Um, of course, my, my Wolf of Charles Street podcast. You know my personal podcast. Um, Zero Turnovers podcast, our sports podcast. Like, we just gonna keep building and building and building, man. I got a Triple X podcast coming soon, man. Oh my God. I'm telling you, man. 